Hi, I'm Justin Pritchard, and fairly often I get an email like this one from a reader or a viewer, and it goes something like this. Dear Justin, love your show. Thanks for being awesome. I'm a young person. I have a baby on the way and a dog, and I need a small car that's sporty, doesn't suck, is good in the snow, has room for my things, and I don't want to sever an appendage in order to pay for it. Oh, and I want to drive a manual transmission because those are sweet. What do you recommend? P.S. Stay handsome. Well, thanks for that, and uh, here's your answer. It's the latest Subaru Impreza. All new from the tires up, it fits the bill as a flexible, winter-ready compact with a few surprises and a laundry list of highly relevant features. If you're a sportier driving enthusiast, this sport package five-door unit with the manual transmission at a tick over 25 grand is the one to get. The interior is a light year ahead of the last car. Less cheap plastic, more premium materials and stitching, and a more modern look. The old stereo is gone, the new one is potent and no longer sounds like it's playing your tunes from the bottom of a swamp. The fast, responsive, clear central command interface uses Android Auto and Apple CarPlay to enhance connectivity. And under that touchscreen, proper logical climate controls that use tactile knobs. Don't miss the three metal sports pedals or the powerful LED headlight system that steers into corners. And since one day that baby you're expecting will leave her Hannah Montana scooter behind the car, there's a backup camera. Great seats with powerful heaters and the sunroof and the generous at-hand storage facilities for keeping organized on the go help round out the package. There's more storage in the cargo hold just behind a set of rear seats which flip down for more room and flip up for more passengers as needed. Rear seating will accommodate two average sized adults comfortably and with a touch more legroom than you expect, but with headroom disappearing fastest for taller occupants. I noted no issues with head, leg, or knee room at any seat or any issues with entry and exit. Though the cabin is visually outgunned by some competing models from Volkswagen, Kia, and others, it is still one of Impreza's best assets. Another one, as it's been for years, is the ride and handling, and particularly how this machine tackles really lousy roads with a feeling of solid heavy-duty durability. Little you could drive it over does much to diminish the ride comfort or to coax any noise or flimsiness out of the suspension. It feels like engineers tuned this car specifically for use on rough roads, making sure the Impreza was planted, confidence-inspiring and comfortable on all of them. Put simply, it rides like a pricier machine. And all of that while being a total riot when it comes to the handling. Push it and the Impreza is flat, predictable and consistently responsive. A sharp and playful steering system, fast reactions to your inputs, it dances around over snowy roads rather than biting into them while you steer with the throttle and brakes and feel the thing encouraging you to really enjoy its sportier side. If you've ever owned a good sports car, you'll love how this thing feels. For a moment or two, I forgot that I wasn't in a BRZ. Ultimately, there's this polish dialed in here, which defines some of the best vehicles in this segment and gives Impreza a definite athletic side to enjoy while you have some fun on unplowed back roads and the deep snow. Think of it this way if you're out shopping the market. Say you like how sharp and agile something like the Mazda 3 feels and how creamy and refined something like the Volkswagen Golf rides, but you really want the all-wheel drive traction, which is, of course, standard here. Well, the Impreza makes a logical choice. When it comes to ride comfort, steering, handling, and responsiveness, it's like a rolling collection of some of the best attributes in the small car market today. You're not having this much fun with this much snow in your Corolla or Focus. There's something charming about a five-door manually shifted all-wheel drive hatch, and especially when you've got a good set of winter rubber and an all-wheel drive system that knows what it's doing and never misses a beat. Just look at all this traction. All four wheels are powered right from a standstill, the way it should be. There's no sense of slippage and loss of control or even being stuck a split second before your traction arrives. You just get full grip right now, every time. The 2.0-liter four-cylinder boxer engine makes 152 horsepower, complete with signature boxer engine sound effects. This is not a rocket of a car, but it is fun to absolutely drive the pants off of, where the engine stays refined from idle to redline, makes a good sound, and reserves plenty of pull to the upper end of the rev range when you let her breathe. Drive gently, and it's pretty thrifty on fuel, or don't, because when faced with conditions like these, Impreza is like driving a little rally car, leaving the two-wheel drive guys in the dust or snow at a slippery intersection never gets old either. 
The 5-speed manual feels just like the one you'll be used to if you've owned a past Subaru. Taller gear lever, a good bit of a throw to it, but a nice and clean action and smooth shifts, even if I wish the clutch felt a little more grabby and precise. Let me sum this up. This is some of the biggest fun I've had with 150 horsepower, and most of that comes more from the handling than the acceleration, but there is that old saying that it's more fun to drive a slow car fast than a fast car slow, and that's the case here. Braking power is adequate and the pedal is precise, though hard panic stops on slippery surfaces. See the Impreza slip and squirm around more than I like here. Some competitors do a better job of ensuring they stop in a straight line. Other notes, the headlights are bang on, powerful, clean, white, and highly saturating of the road up ahead. And I will confirm that she fires up at 30 below like a champ, even if you don't plug her in. Gripes, just one. I wish this thing had a sixth gear to help keep the revs down at highway speeds. End of the day, if you're after a flexible, fun to drive, and thrifty little compact with a fantastic all wheel drive system, you'll want to give this machine a closer look. Partly because it's pretty much the only all wheel drive option out there in a small car, and mainly because it's a fantastic thing to drive on real world roads and in real world winter conditions. Thanks for watching.